Okay, so we're going to be looking at the clone brush tool as a means to remove some objects which we might not uh, want in our image. Uh, we're going to have a look at this, uh, first of all, for a simple object and secondly, for something more complex. And then you're going to have a go. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we don't alter our actual image. So I'm going to click on the background here and I'm going to lock it. Now, if I try and do anything, it says this layer is locked. We're then going to create a new layer up above it. And uh, I'm just going to call this layer for cloning. You can, of course, create several layers if you're cloning different objects. Now, to clone successfully, we want to, to zoom in. So I'm using Control and Plus like that, because this image is much larger than the one we were working on last time. And I'm going to use the hands tool to come down here. And what we're going to do is we are going to get rid of this litter bin because, you know, it's a little bit unsightly and we don't want it in our image. So the first thing we're going to do is select the clone brush. Now, the clone brush can be found in the brushes menu here. There's the clone tool. And we're going to select as our source all layers. So if we just did it on the current layer, we wouldn't actually be copying anything. Uh, that wouldn't work at all because we'd just be copying blank onto blank. Whereas we want to copy this layer here and clone it onto this layer. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the Alt key. And when I press the Alt key, uh, you'll notice that the cursor changes to a sort of uh, plus. So when I click on that, what you've got is, you can you see it's copying over and I can start oh, went a bit too far there, but don't worry, we'll sort that out in a moment to copy that over. We've then got this little bit, which is uh, down by uh, the bottom of the shop window here. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to copy that several times over like that. And lastly, I'm going to copy this bit over like so and as you can see it's starting to make it disappear now i mentioned a little while ago uh, that uh, we've got a problem here uh, because we copied a bit too far but if we turn off our original background you can see we've kind of got like this funny patch oh uh, yeah We've got this funny patch, and we can actually use the eraser tool, which is also in here, to erase it. Okay, so I can just take that out like that. Now, uh, what we can uh, also do with this is we can uh, smooth it out, and then... Oh, and then it gives it a bit of a smoother edge. So we could keep on copying this stuff here, and maybe we want to clone a bit the other way, and maybe clone a bit of the base of the window as well, uh, down towards here, and we could entirely get rid of that litter bin. Uh, now, if I change the opacity of this brush down, then what you'll see is it kind of blends the two in. So I'm making it kind of semi-transparent. Uh, and that, if you have a look there, you can see the transparency showing through, gives a more realistic look. Okay, so that's what we're doing in terms of getting rid of the litter bin. And you could use little artifacts, like you could make the brush slightly smaller and clone this window shelf along. You could clone down here, clone this edge along here. 
uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. I can even just do some of that now. So Alt. Oh, sorry, I need to go back onto my uh, clone brush tool. And Alt. Oh, a little bit lower. And you can see I can start to clone that along. Didn't do a very good job there. Oh. So if I want to undo, Control and Z undoes. And then I can uh, give this another go. And you can see how this is kind of working and we can actually remove objects. Now it might look a little bit rough, but actually when we start to zoom out, you can see it doesn't actually look so bad. Uh, so if we zoomed in, if we just got rid of the top of that bin, uh, by cloning this along, that would look quite nice and quite believable. Second thing we're going to try and do is get rid of this car. So let's try moving uh, over this way. We're going to use the hand tool. And again, we use the clone tool. And we are going to make the clone brush size a little bit bigger. We'll make it a little bit softer so it's a bit more uh, fuzzy around the edges that will help us and oh, that's a bit too big so let's move it to like that and I'm going to use alt to grab a bit of the pavement over here and then straight away I can start to rub out the car like that Notice if I go over the bottom of these pillars, that's not so great. But actually, what I can do with that is I can just remember, go back with my eraser tool and I can uh, remove using the eraser. So I set the opacity here. I can remove uh, those bits that I want to remove. And again, I can uh, use the clone tool, just doing this very quickly, and I can take part of this pillar here, and then quite immediately I can extend that down into the car here. Maybe need some blending and that kind of thing uh, to do that. So, as you can see, it's quite an effective way of getting rid of it. Uh, you'll have to do some interesting jiggery-pokery to kind of uh, get rid of the whole thing because there's lots of complex objects behind it. But that's what I want you to give a go. Remove the car as best you can. So, when I zoom out, you can see that actually down here, that looks absolutely fine. Maybe we could copy the bottom of this pillar over here to over here, and we could start to build up our scene and would never know the car was there unless we looked very closely.